Welcome to this week's video. Today we're talking about setting up your Fenica Pro project. When you open Fenica Pro, if you have worked with it already, it will try and give you suggestions of files to open. Uh, but let's say cancel. You can start a new project in there, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go from the software itself. So here, empty Fenica. We're gonna go file, new, library. If you've seen the last video we did last week, you see the folder that we created organizing all our files. So we're gonna go into that same folder, go into library. I'm gonna call this uh, trial one. And just like that, we have our library. Something that I found very important, and we did a video on this before, but I'll quickly go through it. You go on storage, so you make sure you clicked onto the library, click storage location, modify settings and you want to make sure your media uh, I like to have the media and the catch it into the same library in the same folder as the library so technically you're taking these out of the library itself and putting it into the same folder and the goal here is that you'll be able to delete those files once you're done with the edit saving you a lot of space in the future so you want to make sure you keep the edits if you have the storage space but you want to make sure you keep the most effective version of it and media is just anything that Fenica duplicates for you in case you want to use proxies which you should and catch it is just the render files. So Fenica renders as it goes, but it tends to create really large rendering files. So I like to keep those separate. So once I'm done with the edit, I can just cut those out. If you're wondering, once you edit those out, if you need to edit again, you just need to let the computer render for a little longer than usually would. It's a great way to deduct the amount of storage that you need to have. So just like that, we have our library. I like using events as a way to organize my footage. Depending on what type of project, this would be different. If it's a project that has multiple videos, I'll make each an event for a video. If it's a large project, I'll have library for footage. I would have a, an event for sound, an event for project and an event for assets. Just as a quick way to have them separately. We're gonna import some footage into this project just so you have an idea of that workflow. So you go file, import, media. This will pop up. So you go to the folder where your footage is in. You can either pre-see the footage in here. You can either select the folder itself or you could just select the footage that you want. On the sides here, leave file in place. I don't really like copying into the library. I don't, I like to keeping my library as small as possible. Don't really worry about keywords, audio rows, fine, transcoding. I don't really do optimized media. That's just Fanica creating its own version of the file that you already have. Technically the optimized media that you have is your original file. Create proxy media, I do find it useful because you create smaller versions of the files that you have. I do find creating proxy very useful because you deduct the amount of time you spend editing because it's a much smaller file. After all that, you go import. I don't really like analyzing effects. I like doing all those things after. And I have this clicked off just because sometimes I want to, if I want to export into different events i like to just do that instead of going back and forward with the opening events and exporting but you can see in here that those three files that are just imported are here and in here is going straight to footage if i wanted to import some sound i could just click in sound here look for a sound file and export into that and if i forgot to create any new events i could just create an event in here so once you're done importing you go you close here project new project use custom settings i usually like editing my projects in 4k because i'm in the uk i'm using 25p if you're in the us 24 is usually the most used honestly exactly the same thing uh just be careful if you're going from one to the other because of sound issues if you just stick to one with other projects that you do you won't have any problems it's called a trial video test number one and here we go we have our project now here we have our footage selected and if i want to edit this now in proxy i just have to go on view proxy and now these are much smaller files a lot easier to manage so if i need to scroll through anything anything like that i won't have any logging 
problems, playback problems, anything like that. But that's pretty much it. That's setting up the project. From here on, you start the edit. If this was helpful and you want to see more tips on Final Cut Pro, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next week.